Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial for the reconvert upsell and cross sell app. In this video, you will learn how to add post purchase upsells to the original order instead of creating a new order. Please note that if the customer accepts a one click offer from the post purchase funnel, it will be added to the original order. However, if a thank you page offer is accepted, then a new order is created by default. But there is an option to add upsells from the thank you page to the original order. So please note that distinction. Post purchase page offers will be edited to the original order anyway by default. But for thank you page offers, those made available, for example, through the widgets on the thank you page. Adding these to the original order is an optional thing. That said, these upsells will not be treated as one click upsells, meaning that the customer will still have to pay for these upsells again. Furthermore, this option to add upsells from the thank you page to the original order is only possible with some of the widgets. The option is available only to the following widgets. The product upsell widget, the product recommendations widget, and the reorder button. On the widgets mentioned above, reconvert allows you to add any product upsells accepted by the customer for these upsells to be added to the original order instead of creating a new order. However, for the pop-up with timer, the discount widget and other widgets also found on the thank you page, a new order will be created due to platform limitations. In order to add upsells to the original order, click the settings drop down menu on the reconvert dashboard page right at the top and then click general settings. Once on the settings page, scroll down until you get to the order settings section. From the drop down on the far right, you can click that. Right now it's currently set to create a new order but you can select add items to original order instead. And once you've done that, a new set of additional advanced settings will appear, allowing you to have better control over when to add items to the original order. Now to have more information about order settings, there's a help video, which is right by the order settings section next to the drop down menu button, which we just clicked just now. This is the video that you are currently watching, but just in case you were elsewhere and you came across the order settings and you wanted to know more about the order settings, you can click that. This is the video that you're watching right now. And you can access it also from there. For the first checkbox, if marked, this enables the option to send an email update once an order is being edited. This being an automatic email by Shopify. I'm just going to leave it blank. The following section allows you to choose which of the widgets would actually add upsells to the original order and which ones would create a new order. By marking the relevant checkbox beside each widget, this enables the widget to add upsells to the original order. Please note that reconvert will automatically create a new order for all unselected widgets on this list. Just as a tip, we recommend selecting only the product upsell and product recommendations widgets while setting the reorder button to create a new order. So as you can see, almost by default, the two widgets which we recommend have automatically been marked and the reorder button has been left blank. So by doing so, the reorder button will create a new order. And then these two widgets which have been marked will be add, will ensure that their upsells when accepted are added to the original order. If the customer clicks the buy now button, reconvert will add add an item to the original order in an unpaid payment status and will redirect the customer to make the additional payment at checkout. This field allows you to control the amount of time for which additional items are saved when the customer does not complete the purchase. 
please note that the time in this field is in minutes so for paid orders the reserve time is set to 60 minutes and so on and so forth by default reconvert will remove the added items if the payment wasn't completed after 60 minutes as you can see in order not to hurt your inventory and fulfillment processes for the purposes of this tutorial i will set the reserve time to one minute Please note that if you don't wish to remove added items at all, you can set the reserve time to zero. For manual payment methods like cash on delivery, afterpay, Klarna, bank deposits, cash, etc., the customer might complete the purchase of the additional item but the payment status of these items would remain pending for this payment method from the drop down you can either hide the widgets or create a new order in order to avoid removing an item that the customer approved for delivery so right now it's set to create a new order but as you can see there's an option also to hide the widgets please note that this section will not show up if you set the reserve time to zero minutes the last section allows you to choose to either hide the widgets or create a new order in case the original one is fulfilled since we can't add items to fulfilled orders please note that when adding items to the original order shipping will not be charged for these items currently it's set to create a new order once you are done, just click the save button to apply these settings in your store and from then on, upsells will be added to the original orders instead of creating new ones. So just click save. Let's go back to the dashboard. So now let us just do a test purchase to demonstrate how this feature to add to the original order behaves and also to see its results. So we're just going to go into the store, pick any item. So now we are on the order status page, also known as the thank you page. Uh, this here is a pop-up with timer, the one that has a bouncing gift, but I'm just going to decline that since it's not really the subject of this video. So far, this is our initial purchase and you can see from the order summary that I just bought one coffee table with storage for $150 and then of course all the shipping expenses and so on and so forth. So there's an offer here from the product upsell widget to get this same table with a discount of 15%. I'm just going to try and get that one for the purposes of demonstrating this tutorial. Okay, so you can see that it's a already applying the discount and everything from the order summary but i still have to pay for this upsell so i'm just going to re-enter my card information once again so we are now on the order status page you can see that our order number is still the same 1121 you can see from the order summary that there's been some changes there was the original purchase for 150 dollars and then the upsell which had a discount so that was 127 dollars and 50 cents and that has been added after i made a payment first and so this is what i've purchased so far and there's also a notification on the left side of the thank you page which is informing me that the order Order has been updated and it's also a drop down so if I just click that it'll tell me that something has been added in this case the coffee table has been added we can also just go to the order page within Shopify so let's just close this order status page perhaps just refresh let's go to our orders and then right at the top order 1121 so you can see right from the top it's showing the two items that I've purchased showing that they've been paid for and then if you look at the timeline you can see that here i originally paid for the initial purchase and then reconvert upsell edited this order and you can see that uh, another upsell was added with a discount of 15 percent 
And so our upsell has successfully been added or edited to the original order. For the purposes of this tutorial, let me just use that same order. So as to demonstrate, I'm just going to go to view order status page. So let us try and do another test purchase, but this time we're going to demonstrate how the reserve time feature behaves and the results that come out of it as well. I'm just going to go for the same offer from the product upsell widget, or maybe just for the purposes of this tutorial, let me just try the product recommendations widget instead. And let me try a different product. So I'm just going to buy this cotton white sweater. Okay, so if you look on the right side, uh, it's now prompting to add this upsell, of course, at the discounted value, but I have to pay for it first. I'm just going to wait for about a minute, which is the reserve time, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're back on the thank you page. And after having waited for, you know, the set reserve time, I didn't make a payment. And so the upsell that I wanted to add was not added to the final summary. But if I click on this uh, update, the drop down, you can see that uh, the sweater I was trying to buy was added and then later on removed. And let's see what it looks like from the order page itself. So we're just gonna go to the order and then click on. So you can see that at the top are the things that I successfully paid for, the original purchase and then the upsell, which I paid for additionally. But then below there's also an item that has been removed, which is the sweater and of course the value for it. Uh, the things I've paid for so far and then if you look at the timeline so from the information showing you know the original payment up to the edits that were done by reconvert the first one being of course another coffee table added with a discount of 15% but if you go further up there's another edit again that has been added by reconvert and that is that uh, my attempt to add this upsell was not successful so this upsell was removed and as you can see it says the reserved time expired that is the reason why this thing was removed that is basically how the reserve time feature works so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching once again if you need any help do not hesitate to get in touch with us if you go right onto our dashboard at the bottom right corner or the dashboard page you can click the icon right there and our support team will be on hand to assist you anytime, 24 seven. So thank you so much for your time. See you once again next time. Have a great day and enjoy using the Reconvert Upsell and Crosssell app.